Hi friends, let's read about dwarf planets. Let's start dwarf planets. Table of contents. A shocking deception. Three rules of four dwarf planets. Five dwarf planets and counting. Let's start. A shocking decision. In 2006, a group of astronomers shocked the world. These space scientists changed the way people thought about our solar system. For years, tiny Pluto had been the ninth planet from the sun. But now scientists were finding other space objects that seemed a lot like Pluto. Could they all be planets? No, a new category was indeed. Pluto and other similar bodies were how now dwarf planets. Sorry, Pluto. For many, for many, losing Pluto was hard to take. But scientists is full of big changes. Every day we learn more about space. Scientists rethink old ideas to fit new facts. Three rules for dwarf planets. Scientists have named five dwarf planets. Each is smaller than a planet, but bigger than other space objects. All five dwarf planets are similar than Earth's moon. Homea, Makemake, Iris, Ceres, Pluto. How do scientists know what counts as a dwarf planet? They follow three rules. First, a dwarf planet has to orbit or travel around the sun. Moons twirl around planets, so they are not part of this group. Second, a dwarf planet has to be round. In space, only objects of certain size form into balls, so a dwarf planet roundness shows that it is over a certain size. Third, a dwarf planet shares its path around the sun with other objects. This shows it's not as big as a planet. A true planet would not have other objects share its orbit. True planets are so big that all objects in their path are pulled in their gravity. Both Pluto and Eris cross the orbit paths of other planets. That shows they are dwarf planets. Five dwarf planets and counting. Dwarf planets are several traits with planets. Because they orbit the sun, they have years. Each year equals to one trip around the sun. They also spin like tops. One spin equals one day. Most dwarf planets also have moons. Sirius is both a dwarf planet and the largest asteroid. This rocky ball travels in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Scientists think that an ocean lies under its surface. Sirius is the smallest and closest dwarf planet. It is about the size of the state of Texas. The other four dwarf planets are far out in the Jupiter belt. This region is about 40 times as far from the sun as Earth. Out here, one orbit takes a, a hundred years. It is so cold this far from the sun that several kinds of ice covers these dwarf planets. They shine in the distant sky. The icy edges of our solar system probably host hundreds of dwarf planets. The spacecraft New Horizon is on its way to the Kuiper Belt. What exciting new facts will it show us about dwarf planets? The end. I hope you like this book. See you in the next video. Bye.